there's a 14 year old who is now a radio host. His name is Caden Coger, uh, and he is a conservative radio host. And if you watch his videos, you get a sense that he has uh, people that he looks up to, including Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh. And in these videos, uh, he talks about homosexuality and how he never noticed homosexuality until Democrats came into office. Yeah, look at the, his, uh, <laughs> he sounds like Limbaugh. Right, his cadence is Limbaugh, but his, he's made his own, his name is Caden Coger, and he's got the graphic, and the graphic is just Glenn Beck ripoff. And by the way, he might not have noticed uh, homosexuality until the Democrats came into office because he was 11 when <laughs> Obama came into office. Yeah. That might be part of the reason. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's watch the first video. I see younger people that is turning to be out to be homosexuals. Uh, it's equal, boy and girl both. All of them are starting to turn to homosexuals. We've got about 30, I'd say 30, uh, 30 teenagers in uh, this county that I'm at that are homosexuals. <laughs> and it is sickening. It sickens me. And you know what? I knew these kids. Some of them I was friends with. I knew these teenagers when they were in uh, elementary school I knew them when they were in the beginning of middle school and you know what they were not homosexuals they just decided all of a sudden you know I think I'm going to be gay and you know why they are becoming homosexuals why they are becoming gay it's because they are being encouraged by it. President Obama, it's all right, it's okay, you were born that way. Uh, it's amazing. If SNL did a skit where they combined Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh, yeah. that would have been it. Yeah. Because he comes to the mic just like Glenn Beck does. Glenn Beck keeps going back and forth to the mic, mm -hmm. okay? He uses his hands exactly like Rush Limbaugh does. He makes a combination of points, and he has the great conservative thing where they just make up numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, in this county, there are, in... there are 30, <laughs> 30 homosexuals. He's yeah. gonna, he even <laughs> paused like that, which yeah. was hilarious. But I love, I love his main argument. You know, when I was in kindergarten, I didn't notice any of these gay students. I <laughs> oh, you were in kindergarten! <laughs> So, so look, and it's not to make fun of this kid. He's 14. I, it's look, he got brainwashed and indoctrinated. But you know, it, well, parents do it. Liberal parents do it to, to, and their kids tend to be more liberal, conservative parents, because well, unless they rebel, etc. So I, I, I'm not getting on the kid. It's just funny to to see what I it tell looks you, like. I'm going to get on the kid. Okay, here we go. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm going to get on the kid because he's not nine. He's 14. I'm not going to put him in jail and so forth. <laughs> oh, thanks, God. Uh, uh, but he's a bad kid. Oh, come on! You're going too far. No, I'm not going too I, far. I don't. I don't think he's going too far. No, this I kid. Don't. And like we're all laughing, and then he goes. There are 30 home. There, you know, he deals with Joe McCarthy, right? There are 451 known communists in the Department of Defense, right? He's just pulling numbers. There are 30, 30. Randy, 32 homosexuals in this town, right? <laughs> And I like then, how Randy counts for two. Yeah, and then and then he's like, uh, it's sickening. Like, and then I'm I like, know. I'm done. No, I'm done. He's a bad kid. He's a terrible kid. He's got oh, terrible parents. Oh, you're crazy. No, these kids are hurting themselves, Jake. No, no, these no, kids no, kill know, themselves because these nut jobs like uh, what's his name? Make sure I get it right. Caden Calger, go on the air and talk no, like no, this. No, 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 Ben. Look, what he's saying is horrible. And when he says it's sickening and he's calling out these kids, that, that's terrible, no question. It's just, I know how stupid I was at 14. So that's why I'm saying that it's hard to judge a kid when he's just freaking 14. No, I, and I remember how dumb I, you I, were I'm at 14. No, first of all, I never would have said anything like this. No one I know would have said anything like this. Even people who believed it wouldn't have said anything like this. Because I know, you gotta you're know, a liberal do-gooder. You gotta what? know what you don't know. Uh -huh. I, I like but sometimes you don't know what you don't know at 14. I like the point that Ben makes about the bullying and how teenagers are killing themselves because of kids like Caden, right? But at the same time, the bigger issue is always what we talk about on the show. You watch Fox News, you watch the media, and they always misinform. They always make up these evils in, in the world that don't even really exist, and they freak people out, the people who are easy to influence. So kids, people who might not think right, they're more likely to listen to those newscasts and think, yeah, you know what, these gay people, they're, they're destroying the country, they're destroying marriage, we yeah. have to go after them. I know them. who the main bad guys are here. It's less the 14-year-old kid, although, I look, I, let, let's go back and visit him in four years, and maybe, yeah. maybe he'll be a, a little more tolerant 
Nazi. Um, <laughs> oh, God, uh, for the love of Christ. Um, okay. But uh, um, no, maybe he will be. And I, but I mean, his parents need to take that mic away from him. That's okay. it. And the kid needs to get. The parents See, love now, the mic, yeah, though. Now, now we're. I think having a more reasonable conversation because if my kid does a broadcast at 14 saying that gay people are sickening and he's trying to, you know, label these guys and it seems like bullying. And look, if it went into action, you know, then I draw the line with you and say, oh hell no, then he's a bully, et cetera. Now this is just well, talking. You went into action. It is action. No, you no, no. action is actually like going up to a specific kid, like Mitt Romney did, and cutting his hair or whatever it might be, right? And even then, you said, God, that was so long ago, right? Now, uh, now, but if it was my kid that's speaking like this, and he might influence other people, right? So it's not that speech doesn't matter. It does matter, right? Oh, of course, I'd yank that mic away from but him this so is, quick. This is, and I say, you have any idea what you're saying? In what? many cases, this, in many ways, this is worse than picking on the kid. Like, I mean, that, that's bad for that individual kid. It's potentially terrible for that individual kid. But this is a kid, again, doing exactly what we see on Fox News, from Rush Limbaugh, from uh, Bill O'Reilly, sort of, just sending out a message, a very clear message, that one, it's okay, these kids are different, they sicken me, you can pick on people who sicken you, it's disgusting, that's a choice, they're just thinking they're cool so they're doing it, all the more reason to pick on him, as he'll get to in the next clip when he specifically blamed, he did it there, but he'll blame Obama and Biden again. And then, most importantly, it is picking on the kids who listen to it, who think, well, look at my for look at my friends. My friends think I can't say it. I got to keep it secret for longer. I got to pretend to be something else. Maybe I'll go out. Maybe I'll, I'll try to kiss a girl. I'll do all these terrible things. Like, like leave the you can leave the kid out a little because that's what we're supposed to do, and that's the polite thing to do here. But that message is hideous, and it is arguably more hideous from a 14-year-old than it is from a 24-year-old or 30. Because it's their peer. I agree with you 100% on the message. I don't want anybody to get me wrong. Yeah, well, that. The message is hideous. I'm just talking about the culpability of the kid because he's so young.